Hi there, this video is the first video diving a bit deeper behind the scenes of Reader showing how to do uh, various things using the software. If you haven't already, I would highly recommend watching the video on how to get Reader up and going on your computer, the quick start guide. I'll link that in the video details below. But this is the first video diving a little deeper than that. And in this one, I wanted to cover the topic of how to add a new weather file within Reader. It's really easy. I'd say there's three basic steps to get a new weather file up and running in Reader. The first one is you need a, a weather file. And the place that I like to go is this site, climate.onebuilding.org. They have lots of uh, different kinds of weather data. I'll include this link in the video description, but if you come here, they really have weather data, as you can see, for sites all over the world. Now, if you live in the Pacific Northwest in the U.S., you're lucky because Reader already has uh, lots of sites in the Pacific Northwest for the states of Oregon, Washington, Idaho, and Montana. If you don't live in the Pacific Northwest, then you're probably going to have to add weather sites within Reader. And so you can come here. I'm going to show how to add, let's say, weather for Miami, Florida to Reader. And so you can come here to climate.onebuilding.org, select North America, United States of America. They have all the states here. So we'll go to Florida. We'll scroll down. And here are weather files for Miami. And, and this particular website is great because they have TMY3 data. They have weather normals. They have this format called TMYX, which is essentially TMY3, but a bit more recent. The particular one that I'm going to download for this, for this video is this Miami National Hurricane Center TMYX file here. So I've already downloaded this on my computer, so we can see what that looks like. Really all Reader needs is this EPW file. That, that stands for Energy Plus Weather. That's the one that we need. So I'm going to move this box over here and minimize it. And I'm going to uh, open up my reader folder. And so let me go back here. So we're on our C drive. Here's a reader that we installed during the quick start video. And here's the weather folder. This is where reader pulls its weather data from. And so if we click on weather, we come back to our uh, our new Miami weather data here. Let's copy this this EPW file and just paste it anywhere in this weather folder. We have to we have to link it up in our model input template file. So let's open that. All right. So now we have our model input template. This is the input where you select your particular weather file, and um, we don't have Miami in here yet. So what you can do is you can scroll all the way to the right here to the drop down list and scroll over here to the left and if you uh, you can do various things you can either move some of these down if you wanna uh, make it closer to the top but just for this case I'm gonna go all the way to the bottom here and I'm going to create a new row for Miami weather file and so what you need to do is you just need the name of the weather file without the .epw extension. So I'm just getting this everything before the .epw and I'm just going to paste it right there. If we go back to our model input template, I just sort of have an example run here that I already have pre-filled out for a building. Now I'm going to go to this weather file drop box and if I scroll all the way down, reader should already be including um, you know quite a few extra rows so that it's already showing up here so now I see I have my new Miami Florida um, weather file so I click that I save and then that's it you're you're ready to run so uh, you can fire up the reader application we can call this Miami Florida we want to run the model input template. Let's just do a test run. We'll run it just to make sure that everything is running as we expect. So our reader's reading in the data right now. It should be done with that here really shortly. It'll build the model quickly. It should run it quickly since it's only doing a day. 
And if this runs successfully, it means that we, we were successful in getting the, the weather file included. So that's it. That's how to get a, um, a new weather file up and running in Reader pretty quickly. Thanks for watching.